Come on! Come on, Sarah! Come on! Berlin Marathon, one of the six world marathon majors and the world's fastest marathon with Kipchoge setting the men's world record here. And this year I'm hoping to set my own shiny new marathon PB after running 4.27 in my first run in Amsterdam last year. So we teamed up with Sports Tours International. Every year they help thousands of runners achieve their goals at the biggest marathons on the planet with guaranteed entries and support throughout your trip. You're part of a community of like-minded runners taking on a shared challenge, like our competition winner, Katie. So stay tuned for some epic highs and marathon lows as we take on Berlin Marathon. It is Saturday morning and that means there is just one day to go until we take on Berlin Marathon. So excited but lots to do this morning. We had the option of heading out on a 5k shakeout run with Sports Tours International but instead we headed for breakfast but it was nice to know that if we did want to go out for a shakeout run the day before we would have been guided round and we wouldn't have had to navigate around the city by ourselves. Next stop on the agenda though is heading to the expo. We need to pick up our numbers and make sure we've got everything we need for the marathon tomorrow. Sports Tours are taking us there so so let's head down to reception and get going. Good morning and welcome to race day. How are we feeling? Yeah, Excited. Good. Excited, good, good. We have just met Floor, who is our sports tools rep and she is leading us to the start line, which is so good. Do you have any idea where the start line is, Freddie? Uh, well, I did run it last year, so I should, but... Um... But no. <laughs> so it's very nice to know that someone else is in charge of the navigation and all we have to do is a nice little short walk, probably a toilet stop, uh, another toilet stop, just out of nerves. And apart from that, we just need to be ready to run. Let's do this. Okay, we've made it through the toilet queue. We've dropped bags off. Now it's time to walk to the start line. Feeling good? Shall we reveal what our plan is for the race? Sub four. Sub four. You heard it here. We're going to see what happens. I bought a wristband yesterday, which tells us all of the timings that we need to do with a little sprint finish at the end. Feeling confident? Yes. Let's do it. Let's meet. and you think, well, there's a lot of blue paint around. This is the fastest route around the course. So if you want a fast time, stick to this like blue. That's what we'll be doing. 5.56, first K. That, hopefully, will be the slowest. Okay, we have just come through the first 5K. Target time, 28.30. Actual time, 28.30. There's still a long way to go, but it's looking good. The support has been amazing. Everyone is so friendly. Having a great time, have a good run. We are just coming up to kilometer eight. Feeling good, maybe feeling a little bit too good. But I'm sure that will all start to change very soon. If you are enjoying the incredible atmosphere here in Berlin, then this could be you next year. Sports Tours International are giving away one place plus three nights of accommodation to one of you watching this video to either Berlin Marathon or London Marathon next year in 2023. All you have to do to enter is head to the description and follow the link in the description box of this video. And this could be you. This could be you running around the streets of Berlin. How are you finding it so far, Katie? I feel good, it's amazing. It's so, so cool. So yeah, make sure you've liked this video, subscribe to the running channel, and we'll be doing lots more of this, and you could be too. 36, eight seconds ahead. Eight seconds ahead. Honestly, if you want to pace a marathon, get one of these wristbands, it's incredible. We are a quarter 
turns the way there. Three kilometers to 10, 20 seconds ahead of schedule. It's going well so far. Right now, I'm at despair. I don't feel like that today, so that's good. Still feeling strong. Definitely starting to ache a little bit, but I'm sticking with the motto of run the mile you're in. Am I okay now? Yes. Can I keep running at this pace now? Yes. Doesn't matter what's happening for the rest of the race. Stick with the now. Kilometer 16, Sarah. What does the magic wristband say? We wanted 130, 112. We're on 130, 24. We got excited. Are we going to pay for it? Just spotted up ahead. Freddy spotted. If you watched me and videographer Tom go to Paris back in April, we met Pineapple Guy and he's just in front of us. This is a man who runs marathons with a pineapple on his head. That makes me feel I shouldn't really be complaining about my hydration vest. <laughs> Hello, you're incredible. Well Thank you. I Where's you my tornado? Where's my tornado? I saw you in the This is 171. 171 marathon? Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Two hours and 16 seconds. We're coming through 159.30. Feeling okay. Still trying to just stay in the moment. It's so hard. And you know how much further you have to go, but we made it to halfway. Still feel good. Four hour paces in sight, and they set off way before us. We're about 40 seconds ahead. It's all to play for. But for now, I'm loving it. Okay, we are just coming up to 26 kilometers, two hours, 24 minutes. It's really starting to hurt now. I think this is the part where you're not close to the start. You're not really that close to the finish. And so your brain starts to ask, can you do it? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I've put in so many miles this year, but I've definitely tailored my training more towards 10K than marathon. But a sub four at my first major is really what I want. So now it is purely a case of mind over matter. Okay, we've had a dip. We needed to come through that in 239.36. Then we came through that in 239.36. Come on, 14K to go. Just come through 30K, two hours, 51 minutes, bang on. But now it gets hard, really hard. 12K to go, come on. Less than seven miles to go, sir. Less than seven miles to go. Less than ten miles to go. 
Once we got into the 30s, it was clear that I was struggling and Katie was not. So I told her to go ahead, don't worry about me. She absolutely deserved to go and grab that sub four and get it as down as much as she could. And she was looking so, so strong. So she headed off, Freddie stuck by me, and we ploughed on with the plan to try and get a sub four. This was definitely the point as well where I was weighing up in my head what is more important, <laughs> filming things for you or getting sub four or being able to walk the next day. Um, I decided that Freddie would be able to film the majority and I'd speak if I could and not if I couldn't. And then from there on in, it was just get us over that line before my watch says four. I was not prepared to run any longer than that. We just ran past the sports tours, guys. So nice to see some friendly faces this far in. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be the longest 7K of my life. So close. So, we'd got through the 10s, we got through the 20s, we were getting through to the 30s, and then it ticked over that 4 0 number that everyone is just waiting to see. However, when I saw it, I was 28 seconds behind. I crossed over at 3 hours, 48 minutes, and 28 seconds. Game on. Woo! Okay, into the last 2K now. We are so close to the four hour mark. Sarah's doing amazing. And yeah, it's gonna to be touch and go, but she's definitely got it in her. Freddie was so invested in what was going on. I was so determined to get across the line. And just when I needed them, my two friends who had flown out to see me run this marathon appeared as well to give me that final little boost across the last 2K and get me to that finish line. It is a dramatic finish <laughs> and there aren't a lot of words, there's just a lot of shouting. So I'll let you see what happens now. and it said four, literally four. <laughs> and I've been kicking myself all the way along going like, ah, oh, but I just checked that out. Finish time, three hours, 59 minutes and 58 seconds. I've done it. I'm a sub four marathoner. Oh, that's gonna take a while to sink in. Right, we've met back up. Katie absolutely smashed it. Reveal your final time. 
incredible. We have Freddie came through 359.58, but we've all gone sub four and yeah. all around what 25 minute PVs at least. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely incredible. Would you recommend Berlin Marathon to your friends? Absolutely. It's amazing. <laughs> what did you like about it? Uh, probably the pants were nice. They were really, really good. Uh, only like, and it was like really, really flat. Yeah. Like there wasn't any really hills, was there? No, there were some slight inclines, but then you got the downhill on the other side. Yeah. Exactly. So it is, if you're looking for a PB, if you've been chasing a marathon PB, this is the course for you. And also, don't forget that you could win a chance to come and run this marathon or London Marathon. Head to the link in the description if you want to get it there. We're going to try and stand up in a little bit after walking and uh, probably make our way through the goodie bags. And that is Berlin Marathon complete. Please let us know in the comments what you thought of this, what other marathons you would like us to go and take on. And we'll see you next time on the Running Channel.